Here are the best things to do in Quito, Ecuador. Be sure to stay until the end because we'll reveal the things many tourists miss during their visit. Number 16. Explore the UNESCO Historic Old Town Quito's historic old town was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1978, but that doesn't even begin to describe just how beautiful and significant this area is to the people of Ecuador. Located right in the heart of Quito, this historic old town is full of landmarks such as the City Museum and La Merced Basilica, along with centuries-old churches, museums, and restaurants. It's truly a great place for soaking up the rich culture and history of Ecuador. Even if you are not into history, it will not take you long to appreciate the beauty of colonial buildings. If you stay here, then rest assured you'll see something new every time you walk down the street. It's easy to find your way around because everything is within walking distance. When you're tired, just sit at one of the many outdoor cafes with a coffee cup in your hand and watch the street musicians play. Number 15. Have a cane lasso at La Ronda You might not think of Quito as a place to enjoy an exotic drink, but that's because you haven't tried the cane lasso, a popular drink throughout the country. It's similar to a martini, with gin substituted for agua ardente, a sugar cane alcohol. But the fruit juice, cinnamon, and the common naranjilla flavor has its own distinct profile and deserves its own spotlight. If you're looking for the best canelazo in the city, head to La Ronda and you'll find tables at second-level balconies offering both beautiful views of the street and refreshing cocktails like this one. Make sure to visit at night if you're looking to enjoy your drink in a party atmosphere. Number 14. Take a cable car up a volcano the Teleferico is one of the top tourist activities in Quito, with its cable cars whizzing people up a volcano for an amazing view of the city. But the Teleferico has more than just beautiful views to offer, it's also an exciting ride on its own. The 18-minute ride takes passengers up to an altitude of about 4,000 meters at the top of Pinchincha Volcano. We recommend going on a sunny morning to get a nice and clear view and to skip the afternoon crowd. Number 13. Spend a day bird watching in Mindo. Mindo Cloud Forest is one of the most biodiverse places on Earth, and it's not hard to see why when you go bird watching there. There are over 500 species of birds, and depending on when you visit, you might see some of them. Tourists visit this place specifically to spot the Andean Cock of the Rock Bird, also known as Gallo de la Peña. It's a beautiful red bird famous for its strange appearance and bouncing bobble-like head. You can also join a birding tour with a local guide for a better experience. Don't forget to bring your binoculars to spot the parrots, toucans, quetzals, and umbrella birds. Number 12. Go to the equator in the middle of the world. The Middle of the World Monument near Quito should be on your bucket list as it's one of the most interesting attractions in the world. The monument is located exactly on the world's equator and is marked by a yellow line. It gives you the opportunity to stand on both hemispheres at the same time, with one foot in the north and one foot in the south, so don't forget to take a picture there. The monument is located in a park with green spaces, trees, and flowers. There are also restaurants nearby and shops that sell handicrafts and souvenirs for tourists. At night, it's lit up with different colors to represent the Earth's 24-hour cycle. And there's an entrance fee to the park that would cost you $5. Number 11. Visit the Largest Winged Virgin Mary Statue The statue of the Virgin Mary standing on top of a mountain is a powerful religious sculpture known as the Virgen del Panacillo. At 45 meters tall, it is the largest winged Virgin Mary statue in the world. It's found atop El Panacillo, the hill that overlooks all of central Quito. When you visit, be sure to bring your camera to capture the amazing views of the city and snap some selfies under the wings of this intriguing sculpture. The best time to visit is in the early morning before it gets too hot, and you'll enjoy a more serene experience without crowds of tourists. Make sure to visit the museum located within the structure, where you can learn how the pieces were brought from France and how the statue was built. Number 10. Take a selfie with the Quito sign You've heard of the famous Hollywood sign, but what about the Quito sign? Located at the top of Ichimbia Hill, this sign has become one of the most iconic landmarks in Quito. It's a healthy climb up the many flights of stairs on the eastern side of Quito's old town to reach the area known as Ichimbia Park. The view from this spot is absolutely breathtaking. You won't want to miss this fantastic photo opportunity. Number 9. Hike up Cotopasi Volcano and bike down. Cotopasi Volcano sits in the heart of Ecuador's Andean Mountains and is the second highest peak in the country. Hiking this trail offers breathtaking views at every turn. 
The hike can be challenging, and you need to have some acclimatization and glacier hiking experience. However, it takes just two days to reach the summit. An easier option is to take a smaller hike to the snow line and have some hot cocoa at the refugio. Biking downhill is a popular activity on the Cotopasi volcano. The ride down is an adrenaline-pumping experience, almost as if you're on a roller coaster, feeling every bump and undulation of the road. The ride offers mesmerizing and breathtaking views at every turn. You might also spot some wild horses along the way. The bike ride ends at the Laguna Limpio Pungo, which is a pretty lake you should definitely check out. Number 8. Admire La Floresta's Street Art La Floresta has an abundance of graffiti art, murals, and beautiful wall paintings all over the place. This area is known by locals as an open-air museum because of the dozens of artists that frequent it. You won't want to miss this eclectic mix of art, which will leave your mouth hanging open in shock and awe. You could take a free walking tour of La Floresta, led by a local street artist that'll show you all the notable places in the street. Or you can check out the several artist workshops and markets in the area. In La Floresta, street art is not just something to look at, but an important way for residents to express themselves and share their culture with others. Number 7. Hang out at the rooftop bar at Secret Garden Quito. You could say that the Secret Garden Hostel in Quito has everything you'd ever want in a hostel, including affordable rooms and amazing food. But its standout feature is definitely the rooftop bar with incredible views of the city. It's the perfect place to meet with other travelers and relax on your vacation. The cool and calm ambience of this bar is great for enjoying drinks with friends. Each evening, everyone eats around the long dinner table, which offers a great opportunity to meet new people. To encourage actual conversation, the Wi-Fi in this area of the hostel is turned off after 6 p.m. Even if you do not stay in the hostel, you're welcome to the rooftop bar. Number 6. Marvel at the Golden Church The La Compañía Church houses one of the most impressive collections of Baroque art in all of South America. Entering the church, you would be greeted by a dazzling spectacle of gold carvings, gold leaf display, and golden columns lining the walls. The altar also features a gold-leafed statue of Jesus Christ with painted scenes. Marveling at this golden church is like stepping back in time to the 16th century. Number 5. Meet the President of Ecuador at the Presidential Palace The changing of the guard ceremony in Quito takes place every Monday at 11 a.m. It occurs outside the presidential palace, and here, you'll get to see a small portion of Ecuador's soldiers in action. The event begins with vibrantly dressed palace guards opening the doors of the palace to a marching band playing music, accompanied by a whole cavalry. It's an interesting spectacle as the president himself joins the event, and you'll get to see him waving to the crowd. A free walking tour of the palace is also offered throughout the week, except on Mondays. The tour takes about two hours, and you'd be able to check out the different offices, courtyards, balconies, and rooms of the palace. Number 4. Ride a Chiva to Celebrate Fiestas de Quito Fiestas de Quito celebrates the foundations of the city of Quito, and it takes place on the first week of December. To celebrate this important event, the people of Quito take to the streets in colorful costumes, eating, drinking, and partying with their loved ones. If you're visiting Quito during Fiestas de Quito and you want to get fully involved in the festivities, there's no better way to do it than by taking a ride on a traditional Chiva bus. The Chiva is a party on wheels, and they are often decorated with bright, vibrant colors and loud music that can be heard blocks away. In the middle of the bus, you would even find a pole to dance on. Passengers are encouraged to dance and drink on board. The bus often stops along the route for more drinking, dancing, and socializing. Number 3. Shop at South America's Largest Outdoor Market Otavalo Market is one of the largest outdoor markets in South America. Every day, thousands of people flock to Otavalo to shop, eat, and enjoy Ecuador's vibrant culture. Whether you're looking to buy crafts or food products, there's a little something for everyone at Otavalo Market. You should visit the market on Wednesday and Saturday, as that's when the market spreads into the surrounding streets. The market can be an overwhelming experience with all the colors, smells, and sounds. It's a sensory overload. If you're looking for souvenirs from your travels, this is the place to go. You'll find everything from traditional clothing, handmade jewelry, to food and knickknacks. While you're there, Remember to pop by the nearby Otavalo Animal Market. There are hundreds of animals spread out over many acres, including horses, cows, chicks, and guinea pigs for cooking. While we wouldn't recommend buying animals here, it is an eye-opening experience. Number 2. Take a dip in the hot springs of Papayacta. The Teramas de Papayacta 
are famous for their healing qualities and constant temperature throughout the year. It's an ideal spot if you've spent the previous day hiking or doing strenuous physical activity. The pools here are less crowded than those in central Quito, and many people find the area more relaxing than the capital city's hectic pace. That's why locals come here to relax and enjoy the soothing waters. Number 1. Have a Beer in a Church Quito's Basilica del Voto Nacional is an impressive feat of architecture. It's the largest neo-Gothic church in all of the Americas. One thing you might not expect is to drink a beer inside the church, but that's exactly what makes it one of the most unique places to visit in Ecuador. In the Basilica, you can enjoy both the sacred and the secular. It has an impressive church interior, an incredible view of Quito from the rooftop, and a great little cafe hidden high up in the tower that serves a refreshing and cheap beer. You'll be able to enjoy the experience of drinking a beer while taking in the awe-inspiring architecture of this historic building. After reaching the top of the church, it's a great way to unwind while taking in the sights of Quito. Click here for more tips while traveling in Ecuador.